Hey, Brad Hussey here from bradhussey.ca and codecollege.ca. Thanks so much for joining me. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to download and install Bootstrap for Alpha. All right, here I am on the uh, documentation page of the version for alpha that is v4-alpha.getbootstrap.com if you're from the future then you'll just be going to getbootstrap.com uh, and for those of us using the version for alpha here we are now keep in mind i am using for the at the time of this recording version 4.0.0-alpha.2 now you might be using a different version depending on how far into the future you are currently living Otherwise, this is what I'm at. So keep that in mind. Alpha is going to change probably. So you might be using some uh, different things than I am. Hopefully not. Let's show you how to download Bootstrap. I'm going to click on the download Bootstrap button here. It's going to take me to the download uh, section of the docs here. That's also under documentation and then under download. Now, there are several ways of doing this. You can use a CDN, which is a content delivery network. You can have the compiled version uh, of just the vanilla CSS and JavaScript, or you can download the entire source files. Um, and I'll show you how to do each of these. You can also use package managers uh, if you have a preference like Bower or NPM, Meteor Composer, and so on and so forth. If you're familiar with these, you can go ahead and use these. Uh, I will show you very briefly how to uh, install Bootstrap 4 using Bower in the command line. Um, and I'm also going to show you just by downloading the source files here. But first, let me go to the intro here and I'm going to show you how to quick start right in and get, uh, you know, up and running really quickly using the CDN. So here under the quick start, you can you copy and paste the style sheet link and the script uh, tags here right into your HTML file and you'd be good to go. Uh, and they give you a starter template that you could just copy verbatim and paste into your HTML file and you'd be good to go ready to use Bootstrap for Alpha just like that within seconds. So here we are in my code editor and I have a, a folder on my desktop just called Bootstrap 4 and that's what we're going to work with. I'm going to create a new file and call it index.html. Now in index.html I'm, I'm literally just going to copy this over here on the uh, Bootstrap starter template and paste. And here we go. We have uh, the, just the basic HTML markup uh, and you could just start going because you have the Bootstrap CSS right here and you have the script, the jQuery and the Bootstrap CSS right here. So you literally are good to go. I'm going to show you. So here we have a hello world. Uh, I can already tell that Bootstrap is already hooked in because of the typography. But if you wanted proof, I could just use something like, like this. I uh, just quickly threw together uh, just like a grid and you'll see over here that we have column one, two, and three. So we have three columns right there using the call small four classes. And so bootstrap is good to go hooked in and ready to rock and roll. Now using the CDN is not the best way because uh, you know, they can change um, you know, if you're, if you're referencing bootstrap four here, you know, they can update and you'll just be working off the old version and you might want to use the new version if you don't have an internet connection or if you're uh, if something goes wonky with the CDN then you're kind of at the mercy of whatever happens on the other end of this URL. But you could totally use that if you just want to get up and running and get started. But if you want to challenge yourself just a little bit more, uh, and it would probably be good for you to know, is um, to actually download the source files. So we're going to go over here and go back to download. Download the source files. And you're going to get an entire zip folder with all of the stuff, all of the package kind of in one. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So here we got the Bootstrap 4.0 Alpha 2. I'm going to unzip that. And check it out. You can see here we've got a whole bunch of stuff that is a little bit uh, daunting looking uh, for, for some of us. Um, what you're really only going to want to concern yourself with, unless you really need these files, and some of us do, some of us don't, you don't really need all these. What you're going to really want to concern yourself with is what is in the dist folder here. You got the CSS, you got the CSS right here, or the minified CSS, and the JS. You got the JS right here, or the minified JS. And if you wanted to create your own compiled version, there it is right there. So you could just go ahead and if you wanted in your uh, website that you're the folder that you're working in bootstrap for, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to say CSS and then a new folder and call it JS. And basically that's uh, well, I mean, I could have just copied these over. So let me just show you what that looks like. So there we go. We got CSS and JS. I can just grab these folders actually and overwrite those. And then I will have the CSS and JS like so, bam, bam. And all I have to do now is actually reference them in my website. And I would do so instead of hooking it in here using the CDN, I just change the href to 
CSS slash bootstrap.css or bootstrapmin.css. And then down here at the bottom, if I wanted to uh, change, so I'm going to use the jQuery. I'm going to leave the jQuery as is, use the CDN. Uh, but I'm going to change the scripts here with the bootstrap script. And the source will be JS slash bootstrap.js or bootstrapmin.js. If I save this, I should still see the same thing on my demo site over here. And there it is. It's the same. I refreshed. Everything's good to go. It's because now I'm referencing the local version, CSS and JS, like so. Now, the other way that you can download and install Bootstrap 4 is using a package manager like Bower or NPM or Meteor, Composer, so on and so forth. I prefer Bower. That's what I've been using a lot of the time for, for my websites. Uh, and I'm not going to show you how to use Bower or install Bower or anything like that. Um, this kind of, that's out of the scope of this tutorial. If you want to learn how to install and use Bower in your command line, head over to bower.io and that will give you everything you need to know how to install Bower, getting started, everything like that. It's pretty straightforward. A lot of people use it. So there's a lot of documentation out there too, if you're having problems. Now I'm going to open up my command line terminal and look like a boss programmer here for a moment. And so here we are in my command line and now to install uh, bootstrap in this directory, the bootstrap four directory I just created on my desktop, uh, I simply have to do something like this. So, and it gives you the instructions right here on this, on the, on the web page. So Bower install bootstrap version 4.0.0 dash alpha two. I'm just going to copy that. So I don't have to type it all out. And the first thing I want to do, because if I just pasted that, it's just going to paste it somewhere in the root of my, my computer and I'm going to have to try and dig for it. But I want to um, reference and specifically jump into my Bootstrap 4 folder. So I'll just go CD. I'm going to try and find my desktop. So desktop slash Bootstrap 4. And that's there. Great. I'm just going to check to see what's in there. There we go. We, we're using the right uh, directory. So Bootstrap 4. It's got index, CSS, and JS right there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to delete these manually so that I can install uh, the bootstrap package. So let's just go over here and I'm going to delete the CSS and JS from my bootstrap four directory. So those should be gone now, just the index file is left. And then here in the command line, I'm going to paste that command Bower install. Uh, I don't need that dollar sign. I'm going to remove that Bower install bootstrap uh, version four, yada, 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 go ahead. And that's going to go ahead and find it in the Bower directory and install it. And you can see what it did here. It installed a folder called uh, Bower components. And then in Bower components, it installed bootstrap and jQuery. And you can see all the source files are there and jQuery here. So I have local version of jQuery and a local version of bootstrap four and the specific version. And that's, what's cool about Bower or any package manager manager really is that you could choose the version. If I wanted to install bootstrap three, I just have to type in the, the correct version that I'm looking for. And so you can see here, what it says is it installed Bower components bootstrap and it also installed jQuery because jQuery is a, um, well, bootstrap is dependent on jQuery for the JavaScript plugins. Now that I have those, I'm going to head over to my code editor again, and now I just have to change what I reference. So I can reference the vanilla compiled CSS and JS using uh, in the dist folder here, CSS and JS like so. So instead of here, uh, the URL that I'm referencing will just be a little bit, um, or the path will be a little bit different. So I'm going to go into Bower components, bootstrap, and then I'm going to be referencing uh, dist and then CSS and then bootstrap min.css. So that is right there. Bower components, bootstrap, dist, CSS, bootstrap.min. And there we go. And then now down here, I'm going to be referencing again, Bower components, bootstrap. I'm going to go for dist, JS, and then bootstrap.min.js. And now as you saw, jQuery is also there. So if I didn't want to use the CDN, I can use the local version doing the same thing. And it's under Bower components, bootstrap, or sorry, jQuery, you could see here, dist jQuery or jQuery min.js. And you could go ahead and you can reference those, which is really cool. So now if I save and go back to my little demo site here, I will still have the bootstrap uh, layout, this little dummy layout that I put. Everything is all ready and good to go. And just as further proof, I'm just going to use a new bootstrap for class. 
display dash one. There you go. Hello world. It's really big at the grid here. It's all good. Bootstrap is installed. So I just showed you the three different ways uh, right now of downloading and installing Bootstrap. One was using the CDN where you just uh, copied the starter template straight off of their off of their introduction here. The quick start starter template. You got the CDN. The other way was uh, manually downloading, clicking the download source, and it gave you the source files where you had to actually copy and paste and pull things and all that sort of stuff. Or you can actually use a package manager like Bower and install the correct version or the exact version you're looking for uh, in the Bower components folder. And then we have Bootstrap and jQuery all good to go. So those are the different ways of downloading and installing Bootstrap 4. Thanks for watching. Hopefully that was uh, valuable information for you. And in the upcoming videos, I'm going to be walking through the final projects that we're going to be building using Bootstrap 4 and give you opportunity to download the final course files so that you can reference those throughout the rest of the course. See you there.